Next we'll be creating this piece. It's an H type bobbin or fastener. It has a couple different names. But we're going to be creating this. There's a couple other pieces besides this that make up this entire piece. But this is one of the pieces. We're going to start with this. So we're going to go back to our blender file. We're going to select a different layer. I'm going to use this one. Then we're going to go to create and we're going to choose a plane. We're going to do three for side view, tab into edit mode, R, Y, and then 90 and press enter. If you want to, you can hide this uh, background image. It's up to you. You can just press the N key and hide the image here if you'd like to hide the image but it's not really important. Then we're going to do control R, left click, right click, control R, left click, right click again. So we have a horizontal and vertical line here. Then we are going to select these four vertices, do control I and then press delete and choose faces. Now we're going to add a modifier and choose mirror. Turn on all three axes, turn on clipping, and turn on this. Then we're going to press A to select everything, go to Mesh, Normals, and Flip Normals. I'm going to change this from the 3D cursor to the median point. Next we want to scale this on the Z axis, so do S and then Z, and scale this up some. You can also scale it some on the Y axis by doing S and Y, scaling it out. You just want to try to make a shape that is close to this type of shape. So I probably want to make mine a little taller and maybe a little wider as well. Once you have your shape, you're going to do Control R, left click and drag this up to about here. And then we're going to select these two vertices, E to extrude, right click to cancel and bring them out. So now you should have something similar to this. Then what we're going to do is press A twice, we're going to turn off clipping for a minute, bring this out, and then turn clipping back on. I'm going to bring mine in slightly so it's a little bit thinner. Then we're going to select these two vertices, E to extrude, right click to cancel and bring them to the center, and then also bring them outward like this. That's going to help us create the curvature on this top part. So you can just adjust this out or in more depending on what you're looking for for curvature. I think I'm going to do A twice and then bring this out slightly to make this a little bit wider on my model. And I'm also going to do Control N to recalculate the normals. So from this point in order to bevel this edge right here we actually have to apply the mirror modifier. So we're going to press tab, make sure you're in object mode, and then do apply. Then tab back into edit mode, select these two vertices, do control B, mouse wheel up until you have five cuts. You should see segments four down at the bottom here, just below my mouse cursor. And then just go until you have relatively even spacing, like mine's probably a little bit much, so I'm going to do Control Z and then do this again by doing Control B until you have relatively even spacing throughout the entire thing. I'd also like mine to be a little bit further out, so I'm going to bring mine a little bit further out and then I'm going to do Control B, mouse wheel up until I have five cuts. And you only have to do it to this one because we're going to be adding the mirror modifier back in. So once you're done with this, we're going to go to face select. We're going to select these two faces. We're going to hold control and select these faces here. So you should have these two and these three or four actually. Then we're going to do control I, delete and choose faces. Add modifier, mirror, do all the axes, turn on clipping and turn on this. And we're back to where we were except now we have this nice bevel here. We're going to go to face or uh, vertex select, select this vertex, and hold control and select this vertex. 
So you should have three that are not selected. Then we're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel and bring these to the center. Bring them all the way to the center so that they merge automatically at the center. Then we're going to select these two and press F so we'll have a quad here at the top. Similarly on the bottom we want to select this one, hold control and select this one. E to extrude, right click to cancel and then we'll bring this in. And select these two and press F. And now we have that filled in. Then we want to take this one, E to extrude, right click to cancel, bring it to the center. And select these two and these two and then press F. And we now have everything filled in as all quads. We're going to go to tools in object mode and turn on smooth shading. You can see it's not the greatest at this point because we need to add in some bevels. So we're going to go to edge select. We're going to Alt right click, Alt and Shift right click, and then repeat that process down here at the bottom. You want to make sure you have the entire outside of the top and the entire outside of this bottom here. And then we can Alt right click or Alt and Shift right click to get this and do the same here. So you want these crease lines here, you also want these horizontal lines here and lastly we want to hold shift and right click to get this vertical line as well we actually want to deselect this one so we're going to hold shift right click to deselect that one then we're going to do control b mouse wheel up once do a relatively small bevel one thing i want to do is go to vertex select select this vertex grab it on the z-axis hold control and snap it there so we have straighter shading going across this direction other than that, this should be the basic shape of our object here. The last thing to do is to add in this circular, circular hole and then the bottom as well. This hole goes all the way through of course. This is where the screw is going to go once we make a screw for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this vertex and we're going to press delete and choose vertices. So now we have a hole in the center as well as a hole in the bottom. At this point we're done with the mirror modifier so we're going to go to object mode and apply the mirror modifier. Then we're going to press tab to go into edit mode, go to create and choose circle, change the vertex count to 14 and press enter. Then we're going to grab it on the z-axis, hold control, snap it to one of these points at the top, S to scale this down. We're going to try to make it a similar size to this one. So we're going to scale it down maybe a little bit more. We're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel, scale it out slightly. This will be a supporting edge to help correct the shading. Then we're going to do Alt and Shift, right click. So now we have this edge loop and this outer edge loop selected. Then we're going to do Alt F, that's going to fill in that area. Then we're going to Alt right click on this, E to extrude, right click to cancel, S to scale it down and then bring it down on the z-axis so we have this now and you can go to tools in object mode and turn on smooth shading again to get a look at what we have at this point then we're going to E to extrude right click to cancel bring this down you're going to bring this down fairly far something like that is probably good and then we're going to E to extrude right click to cancel S to scale this out this is going to be that bottom area. This is a little bit uh, wider than the top area, so we're going to scale it out a bit. Then we're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel, bring it up on the Z axis, hold control, snap it here. Then we're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel, S to scale this out slightly. Again, this is another supporting edge loop. And then we're going to Alt and Shift, right click and then shift and Q to bridge edge loops on this one. You also probably could have done Alt F if you wanted to do Alt F instead. One thing we may want to do at this point is add bevels to the bottom here so we're going to make sure we're in edit mode, go to vertex select or edge select, Alt right click, Alt and shift right click, then do control B, mouse wheel up once and do a small bevel here 
that will help to correct the shading on the bottom. The shading is still bad, so we can do Control R, left click, and drag this up. And that will help correct the shading on that part of this piece. If you need to adjust the size of, say, this piece here, you can go to Vertex Select, 3 for Side View, Z for Wireframe. Right click to select one of these vertices, B to Box Select, select all of them. And you can adjust the size of this piece if you need to. And similarly, if you need to adjust other things, you can select, for example, if I was to select this here, and this here, you could bring these out more, but you would have to do the same on this side as well. So it's easier to do that when the mirror modifier was still here. So it's better to get your dimensions correct before you start adding in these circles. But this looks pretty good to me. I think this came out fairly nice. So we're just going to save it. We're going to go to File and Save. Thank you to our awesome Patreon supporters. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter yourself, head on over to patreon.com slash Thank you for your support.